Conquering Coordinating Conjunctions, Mastering Parallelism in English. Hello learners! In today's session, we'll be diving into the heart of English grammar, focusing on a fascinating concept known as parallelism. Specifically, we're going to learn how to maintain parallelism using coordinating conjunctions. This is a crucial skill that will help you form clear and balanced sentences, enhancing both your spoken and written English. Let's dive in. Parallelism, in grammar, refers to the balance between two or more similar words, phrases, or clauses. These elements should share the same grammatical form to provide clarity and coherence to your sentences. This is the concept that ensures we say, she likes reading, writing, and playing, rather than, she likes to read, writing, and play. Now let's move on to coordinating conjunctions. They are simple yet powerful tools used to connect words, phrases, or clauses of equal importance or structure in a sentence. The most common ones are for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so, often remembered with the acronym FANBOYS. Let's take an example. I like apples and oranges. Here, and, is the coordinating conjunction connecting the equally important objects, apples, and oranges. Now, let's combine these two concepts. When you use coordinating conjunctions in your sentences, you need to ensure the elements they are connecting are parallel in structure. Here's an incorrect sentence. I want to dance gracefully and winning the competition. Can you spot the error? The problem here is the lack of parallelism after the coordinating conjunction, and. The correct sentence should be, I want to dance gracefully and win the competition. Notice how both parts now mirror each other in structure, maintaining parallelism. Now that we have understood the concept, it's time for you to practice. Here's a sentence for you to correct. She loves painting, to hike, and cook. To keep the sentence parallel, we need to make sure all the activities she likes are in the same form. So, the correct sentence would be, she loves painting, hiking, and cooking. There you have it, folks. By using coordinating conjunctions correctly, you can maintain parallelism in your sentences, making your English more clear, balanced, and impressive. Remember, understanding the concept is one thing, but practicing it is the key to mastery. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be a pro at using coordinating conjunctions for parallelism. As always, keep learning and exploring the fascinating world of English grammar.